Hey, how's it going YouTube? I'm Landon Dallas Singh and we have Rebecca Felgate here and welcome back to another most amazing top 10 video. Today we have joined forces in which we should do more often, but we're bringing you this video. This is the top 10 scary things you don't want to see on a plane. So you know what, let's just jump right into it. I don't want to jump right into it. I want to talk about planes. You love planes. I do. I've been on so many of them. Yeah. What, okay, what's the longest flight that you've ever taken? I think it was thir 23 hours, Australia. Oh, same. But I flew a different way. I went from so went England to, to Dubai and then Australia. And mm -hmm. I think you flew around the, round the back. Yeah. Planes. All right, we're doing this. Coming into number 10. Okay. I do not like this. This is an absolute no for me. This is rude. Sure, this isn't life threatening, but it is a true nightmare. Like, get your feet off my armrest, honey. Unless your bunions paid for this seat, they aren't using it. This image went viral when passenger Jessie Cha tweeted an image of what a passenger behind her thought was acceptable. Ew, no. She tweeted the picture and said, Today I flew on the set of a nightmare. And do you know what? I totally agree. What is more, another Twitter user shared a similar experience, which looked even worse. Like, what is wrong with people? Get your feet away from me. Okay, so yeah, you, you buy the seat, and it what does it come with? Does it come with the one armrest, the two armrests? Because the, the two ends are one, and the middle is two. Is that the rule? Do you know rule? what? Ha having sat in the middle on a row of two other people that were also on their own, it's like a constant turf war, because you definitely get one, that's a given, but like, then you've got to share that one yeah. and that one. You gotta own it right away. As soon as you sit there, bam. Bam! Just no feet, no feet. Just no what would you do if someone stuck their foot through behind you and they weren't wearing any shoes or socks? I put my, I take off my shoes, I put my feet on their head. <laughs> A good response. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well what's worse than stinky feet on your armrest? Well, we have more on this list. Right now we are at number 9. And we have a clogged toilet. I mean gross. An airplane bathroom is a gross and scary place already. There are always puddles of questionable liquids on the floor and wet paper towels everywhere. So we definitely don't need to see these little 3x3 three three bathrooms clogged with waste. And it was scheduled to fly from Oslo to to Munich and it was carrying 85 employees from a plumbing company. But 20 minutes into the flight, someone clogged the toilet and the plane had to turn around to be fixed. And you know what, like how ironic is that? You have plumbers on board, but yet you have to, you know, land the plane to get a plumber to fix it. Why can't these plumbers just fix it in midair? I heard that the waste, let's call it, on a plane is dumped out in the sky. Is that true? Yep. That's insane. I, I hear it like maybe burns up before it like reaches the ground, but how do you know? Because you could just be walking in the street and be like, what's that? Oh, we're having a sh day. No, are, are you, <laughs> yeah. Do you actually think that's what happens? I don't know. Like a Boeing 737 goes by and you're like, Ugh. No, that's not, that's not what happens. Oh, that's not what happens. <laughs> that's not what happens. <laughs> that's an urban legend. I'm just trolling. That's no. Plain urban Plain legend. don't let come out of the... Ugh. Okay, getting very serious at number eight. We have lightning. Storms are common and planes are designed to be able to deal with them. That being said, being caught in a thunderstorm on a plane is pretty terrifying. Looking out the window and seeing lightning, I mean, it really makes my heart jump. While it does happen, sometimes it can actually really mess with a plane. Recently, an Air New Zealand flight returned to Auckland as a precautionary measure after being struck by lightning. Now, in 2010, two people were killed when a plane from Bogota was landing in an Andres Island in the Caribbean. Famously, in 1963, 81 people died when lightning struck a Pan Am flight over Maryland. Modern aviation means you'll probably be fine, but it's pretty scary. So have you ever been on a plane in a storm? I have. It's really scary. As soon as you go like to the clouds and they're black. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, you got nervous. I um, was on a flight coming back from Thailand once, and as we were landing into London, the plane got struck by lightning and it shook the plane, and yeah. everyone screamed. And like the pilot came over to be like, don't worry, everything's okay, but I was really I scared. I think the plane grounds it, but I don't care. Lightning is lightning. It is freaky. It is freaky. And you know what? Being struck by lightning is actually pretty rare. Well, terrifying turbulence shakes things up in at number seven. No one enjoys being caught in turbulence. And whenever I fly over the equator, the turbulence is unbelievable. It is pretty damn scary. I mean, it feels like you are about to crash, but the pilot doesn't want to scare you, so they call it uh, turbulence instead of, we are about to crash. And I have a video clip for you guys. Take a look at this. <laughs> Oh, 
I bet you there were a lot of people on this flight gripping their seats and praying for their lives. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. So we've actually flown on a few planes together and I hate turbulence. I don't know if you've ever looked at me when turbulence happens. I'm always like, ugh. But I've heard that it's totally normal and it's just like pockets of hot air. But still, I really, really, really hate it. And you know what? I think that recent trip to California. Yeah. I think that was one of the worst turbulence we've ever had. Yeah. Oh, oh you mean? And who was it? I think Liam was sleeping, which yeah. I don't know. I don't know how. And we were just shaking. It was the landing that was really. All scary the all the landing was unbelievable. I held on to Charlotte's hand. That was that was insane. Yeah. Oh yeah, Charlotte. Charlotte, you were there. Charlotte from Inform Overload, we're mates, and I was holding onto her hand and she was just like, it's okay. Jim Wilson makes his way into number six. Who's Jim Wilson? Well, Jim Wilson is the code name for a dead person, which would be a scary sight indeed, and one that you don't want to see on a plane, if ever. Medical emergencies happen all of the time on planes, but more often than not, dead bodies need to be transported. Around 50,000 dead bodies are transported every year. Now, Jim Wilson is usually transported in a secure casket, although if people die on planes as a result of a medical emergency, they'll have to stay seated, which, I mean, oh my goodness, can you imagine sitting next to a dead guy? Fuel gushing from the wing comes in at number five. This might be the scariest thing I have ever seen. A United Airlines flight going to Venice was cancelled after a passenger spotted fuel pouring from a wing while the aircraft was waiting for clearance to take off. The passenger quickly reported it to the flight attendant and the pilot cancelled the flight and alerted the firefighters. It's pretty scary that none of the crew members saw that, that you know this was happening. Thankfully she was looking out the window at the right time and she was able to see the fuel leaking out of the plane. This could have been a huge disaster. To be honest I totally agree with you with fuel gushing but I don't want to see anything gushing on a plane, unless it's wine in my mouth. Okay, coming into number four, we have oxygen masks dropping. Oxygen masks drop when cabins lose pressure over 14,000 feet in the air. If these drop, one, it's pretty scary, and two, you have to act quickly. There is a reason why the in-flight announcement before you take off instructs you to place yours on first before helping others. You've got about 10 seconds before you pass out through lack of oxygen if you don't put it on straight away. So basically, if you see this on a flight, it means act now. Has anyone ever seen it? In Fight Club, Brad Pitt's character Tyler claims that the oxygen gets you high, which makes you feel less panic in the face of a serious emergency. Actually, they're really there to keep you breathing, although do start your watches if you ever see them, as they only have around seven minutes of oxygen stored in them. The plane's got to land pretty quickly. And now moving into number three, you don't want to see a propeller fall off. Do you? This would be one of my worst nightmares, but for some people, this was actually their reality. A flight carrying 19 passengers almost crash landed when one of the propellers fell off and it was about to land. The propeller detached from the shaft and flew over the wing without touching the aircraft. The plane landed safely, but they were extremely lucky that the propeller didn't crash into the fuel gauge or tail of the plane. But either way, I smell I smell something pretty uh, pretty awful here, and I think it's a class action lawsuit on their hands. Things are getting hot in here at number two with fire. So yeah, you absolutely don't want to see fire when you're on a plane in any, any, any corner of the plane. This would be probably the literal worst thing to see. Why? Because fire, but also planes are largely filled with fuel, which makes them flying potential fireballs. Recently, a woman's cell phone caught fire on a trip from Toronto to Vancouver. Now, luckily it happened while the plane was on the ground and it was quickly extinguished, but if any part of a plane catches fire during a flight, well, it would be time to start praying. And exploding in with our number one spot, yes, we have a bomb. You can almost 100% guarantee that if you see a bomb in your flight, you, you will probably not survive. In the past, security wasn't as strict as it is today. So unfortunately, bombs have been found on some planes. Back in December 21st, 1988, Pan Am Flight 103 exploded while it was 31,000 feet in the air, just 40 minutes after takeoff. The 259 people on board were killed, along with 11 other people people on the ground. After an investigation, they found fragments of a circuit board and a timer and ruled it as a bomb and not a mechanical failure. So yeah, apparently this isn't something that only happens in movies. 
You don't even know what to say to that. You've just described my literal worst nightmare and thoughts whenever I'm getting on a plane ever. No to bombs. I'm really glad that these days we have <laughs> no, like... No to bombs. No to bombs. Just a blanket rule I have. But I'm glad that security is like a lot tighter these days. It might mean waiting in longer lines at the airport, but like I feel like they've got this covered, so. Also, one final thing that I feel like we need to talk about before we go is, you know, recently that passenger that got sucked out the window? Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, that's something to discuss. If we ever make a part two, passengers sucked out of the window would be my revised number one. <laughs> well, there you guys have it. Thank you guys so much for watching this one. It was a whole lot of fun, and we'll see you guys all in the next Most Amazing Top 10. Don't forget to like the video also. We like it when you like the video. Do you want to end this with a really awkward high five? Do you think I can do it without looking? See ya. <laughs>